Hey fellas, this is the Game Hunter. Before we start with the show, don't forget to subscribe and also activate notifications. Let's start with the show! What is up guys, this is the Game Hunter and our episode first look and today we're gonna play Rise of Civilizations. This uh, is a game that I've been I've been receiving some mixed uh, reviews. Some people are saying that it's similar to Civilization, the great game from Sid Meier's. And some other people are mentioning that it's similar to Game of War, which is a, a, a game that I don't like or enjoy at all. But let's find out this together. First of all, we have to pick, before starting our epic adventure, a civilization. We got Korea, Japan, China, Spain, France, Britain, Germany, and also Rome. And I'm a huge fan of Rome. <laughs> I love the Legion unit. And I think it's a good idea we start with this. We're going to start with Scipio Africanus. The unique uh, unit is the Legion. Infantry defense 5%. To march speed 5%. Gathering foot speed increases in 10%. Those are the bonuses that you can receive if you choose the Romans. Uh, we got Germany. The Eagle of Germany. Teutonic Knight. Cavalry attack increase. Top training speed. Yeah, that's not too bad. The Britain had the longbow, of course. The sun never set. Archer attack increases. Of course, this is is using some historic units that make those civilizations so, so unique. Joan of Arc. Throwing Axemen? Really? Uh, I was expecting something different from France. In Spain, we had the Conquistador. Cavalry defense increasing 5%. Gold gathering speed also getting increased. We had the China. Sun Tzu with the Chu Hong. Chukonu, Chukonu, yeah, this is the same units that you can get in Age of the Empires, one of the unique ones. The Samurai from Japan, absolutely, I cannot think in any other best unit for Japan. In Korea, we got the Rong, okay, defensive archery increases, hospital capacity increases, oh, remember, we got a, a hospital, hmm, so we have a chance to save our wounded units. That's not too bad. Oh, it's a difficult starting point. I believe you can change your your civilization when you start playing. But uh, it, it, I don't know. Scipio Africanus looks like a really, really, really cool hero to start in this rise of civilization. So, like in all civilization games, you're gonna start. Um, most likely from scratch with a little town hall maybe one or two peasants and um, from there you need to start building your empire a new world with new possibilities that is so cool we camp we explore we fight we fight no we can't ah, <laughs> I just missed something and then we fight yes and we power protect each other from great danger those barbarians Hey, it's, it's looking similar to civilization, I would say, especially the introduction, but, you know, things can change super fast, and um, I guess that's me, I guess that's me, rise of civilization, so let's take a look to this game, I might I might record two episodes, games like this, they, this, they deserve some extra time, so this is my city, uh, well, welcome to the counselor. I will do my best to offer your assistance. Thank you so much. This is far part of the first time user experience. Our people live, uh, I'm confident that with small walls will eventually grow into a great civilization. Knowing the needs of your people is the first step forward. That is classic in all this game. So, first of all, let's start with food, right? How about building our first farm? It's going to cost 100 wood. I cannot uh, change the location of my first farm. Um, and, um, I just noticed that we start with a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand in food. <laughs> That's quite a lot. Hey, look at that. That's a scout. <laughs> Please help us. Barbarians are attacking my village. It's not far from here. Please do something. Uh, a good idea. Let's take a look. Azeroth? What? Is this Warcraft? Another poor defensive village. Take the food, boys, and burn the rest. Oh, those barbarians are doing a nasty job for that little... I guess a little town. Look at the little villagers. Oh, man. 
Maybe it's time for us, maybe it's time for the Roman Empire to put some uh, order in the region. How about that? Yeah, maybe it's a good idea. We can go and attack. Can we Can we go and attack? Yes. Yeah, the barbarian might come back. And in the time, we need to desperately train some troops. Absolutely. So let's go to the barracks. Um, let's see. Our first troop is the warrior, of course. It's going to allow me to... Tra oh. What are you guys doing? You're, you guys are dancing? <laughs> okay, apparently we got some new troops. Let me claim these guys. Well done. Next, we must upgrade the walls to reinforce our city defenses. So far, the graphics are looking really good. <laughs> I'm liking this. Let's upgrade the wall. Uh, apparently, we can speed up construction too. It feels like a mix between a game of war and civilization. I got a feeling it's gonna be like that. All right, so we go to the military tavern to recruit legendary commanders. Okay, we're gonna receive a Scipius uh, Africanus, or, or we need to start. Or we can choose another one. Hey, golden chest. Okay, we got one gold chest to unlock most likely a powerful, powerful legendary leader, Scipius Africanus, Blades of Warfare. Epic. It's a leader. It's a siege. Okay, Publius Cornelius Scipius Africanus. Well, uh, let's call it Scipius. That's all. Forget about the rest. Building speed up, food, and also wood. Those are the other bonuses that we just got. All right, so I heard some barbarians have been in trouble. It's a good idea with Sam Scipius Africanus to take care of business. All right, so we're going to start searching for barbarians. Um, defeat the Maraxian barbarian. Okay, so we're going to search for level one barbarians. Type in search. How dare you? I promise that you will regret this. Um, okay, well, we'll see. Punishment will be delivered. <laughs> it's time for us to move the Roman Empire against those level one barbarians. Are we? You, saw, you guys probably noticed we got some bonuses or rewards that we can get if we finish this battle. Okay, so we're going to add the commander. We got some warriors. How many warriors we got? A thousand and twenty. What? Total power 3520. And here we go. Alright, so we're getting close to the little barbarians. Uh, not doing much at this point. I just uh, can see the score of the barbarians going down. The troop, okay, something is blinking. Okay, I guess the Isibius Africanus received some damage, and I guess those guys are gonna just we run away. There were no way to run, we must fight for our lives. Oh! Where's that? Somebody needs some help? Uh, call me. <laughs> call the Roman Empire. 100 Roman Empire. And we're going to deliver some really nasty punishment. All right. Let's go over there and help that uh, lady in trouble. I guess more barbarians are in town. Surrounded. Okay. Oh. Mm, so we got some strike in this. It's not just a simulator when you uh, see troops just fighting back and forth. There is something else strategy that we can... Uh, review in the future if you guys want me to keep playing this rise of civilization because apparently when you play with alliances you can control some huge huge armies all right so are you coming with me yes lady come with me we need a archer right now for our army here we go the max woman advances shadow snake hey but this is another leader this is not a troop okay so we got two leaders already we got the Roman, and also we got this Governor, lady. Governor, you have proven yourself distinguished leader with an impressive performance. You are people's hero. Really? We just killed two barbarians, dude. <laughs> it doesn't take too much to be a hero, I guess, in the Roman Empire. Governor, please follow this. We got some different quests. Of course, the quests are going to help you to go through the basic tutorial of the game, so I strongly recommend you to follow that. That way, you're not going to miss anything. Okay, and you're going to understand how to proceed with the game. So the city hall is upgraded. Upgrade the city hall to level 2, and we're going to claim our quest. The next one will be to A, explore one fog block on the map. It, seems that our efforts it appears that our effort have paid off. Some, Some villagers have decided decide to, to join us to, to confront the bad guys. Governor, we know this territory is back. Oh, excellent. We got scout? What? Build a scout camp. All right, let's get a military. Scout camp manages your scout. 200 in food, 200 in wood. Uh, and here we go. It's going to take a couple seconds. Um, what do we do? Oh, special unit that can help you explore the fog. 
That is so cool. Exploration progress 0 0.2, pero 0. <laughs> Estoy en Spanish. 0 0.02 percent. Okay. So let's send this scout to find out what it's over there. Hey, this is looking so cool, man. <laughs> Look at that little fella riding the horse. Um, let's see if we can get close to that area and start. The scout will automatically explore this area and will be notified if they make any discoveries. Now let's return to the city and continue our work there. That is so nice. I like that. Okay, all right, scout. You keep exploring. We, we're heading back home. <laughs> we have plenty of stuff to do. So tapping here, we got, we're got we going to claim our quest, build an archery range. Okay, we're getting some more advanced troops. Lumber mill archery range, 300 and 400, and we're going to place it over here. Until now, I don't think I have any options to place the buildings in a specific location, but I'm okay for now. <laughs> I'm okay for now. All right, so build the archery range. Thank you. Train 20 archer units. We can do that really fast. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Build a tavern, upgrade the wall to level two, receive a new mail. Okay, claiming stuff. And now it's time for us to build and recruit our archers. You see, Slinger. Slinger uses slingshot, attack enemy, poor accuracy, and range our obvious disadvantage. Okay, so we can choose how many troops we're gonna recruit in one go. 20, not a problem. Those guys are dancing too. <laughs> <laughs> Same stuff with the warriors. The warriors actually sleeping. Let's go to the tavern. And in this tavern, hey, look at that. We got some three free chests. That's not too bad. Three free chests. Let's open the first one. You see, wood in Tom of Knowledge, the Max Woman Sculptor. Use this item to add 100 speed to your commander. Okay. A powerful sculptor that can be used to summon a Max Woman. Also can be used to upgrade skill level this commander. Okay, and reduce the time speed of any Q building with the speed up. Uh, I'm familiar with this system, with the uh, finding uh, different uh, speed ups, uh, resources. They're similar to uh, Game of War. <laughs> hey, we got an epic level three ton of knowledge, receiving tons of XP, tons of food, tons of wood, and also a Cypress African sculptor. Okay, with the sculpture, we should be able to upgrade our hero. All right, let's continue playing some Rise of Civilization, shall we? You see the game hunter signing off. I will see you in the next one. Take care, fellas.